hello friends welcome back my name is pk in this video i will explain you how you can convert your numbers into words in microsoft excel without using the bba and i will tell you two different methods without using the bba how you can convert your number one will be the static and another one will be the dynamic method the static method i have converted these numbers into the words here you can see but these are not dynamic if i change here let's say 1000 then you can see it is not getting changed the another method which i will explain you that is method 2 and this will be a dynamic method here you can change the word case also using the lower proper or upper then you can see it is getting changed and this is dynamic also you can put here like let's say 1000 and then you can see it is getting changed okay you can change the currency also from here like you want to see in rupees or you want to see uh, none so it will not take the currency and you can change the currency from here also it is none and let's take the dollar or rupees and accordingly it will show now i will explain you both of the method how you can achieve this in microsoft Excel. this is very useful tip and if you are working on last set of numbers and you want to convert this into the words you don't need to use any kind of vba you can simply use these tips so let's start without delay i'm just going to copy these number and press ctrl n to add a new workbook First we will discuss about the method 1. So let's paste these number from here for now and here we will show our words. So let's type here words. We will take a support column also. So let's take support column and we will hide this later on. Go to the view and remove the grid lines from here. We can quickly apply the same formatting. Take this formatting and apply this here also. Alright, now let's type here currency and we can add a drop down. Select this cell and press Alt D L to open the data validation window and select here list and type here first dollar rupees and let's take one as none. Click on OK. Now here you can select dollar rupees or whatever you want we can apply the same formatting so select this cell and take the format painter and just click here all right so this is ready now in the support column let's use the formula as bar text that is b a h t t e x t text okay select this and just close and hit the enter so what it is doing this is this formula is converting this number into words but in Thai language and we will add one asterisk sign also in the last of this this asterisk sign we are using just to separate the multiple text I will explain you later on let's fill this down till here okay so we have the numbers into words but we uh, we are seeing it in thai language now we will convert this into english language so select these all thai language words then go to the review tab and here we have a translate language tab and just click here automatically it has detected that this is a thai language and then it has converted into english if it is not taking here english you can select english from here and then once it is converted all then you can just select this and then copy now you can paste this somewhere one support cell let's say i'm just pasting this here on f1 just paste that okay so we have all text in f1 because we have used this asterisk sign in the last of each you can see now it is coming in between of this so that means we can use we can use text split function now so let's use here text split this one and then select f1 
comma now we don't want to delimit in the columns we want to delimit it in the rows so just skip this column delimiter and use here row delimiter as a strict this one and close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting this in english language now we can use a trim function also here use trim to just remove any extra space and just hit the enter okay so this is converted now the only problem is we are seeing here this b a s t and s a t a n g we will just replace these words so let me just copy and let me use here one substitute function just use here substitute and text will be this one comma then we will use here old text as b a h t and just replace it with blank for now just close and hit the enter so you can see it has removed now in place of this blank we will make some condition so we will use here if this cell equal to dollar then just show here dollar put another condition if this cell equal to rupees we have taken two condition then just show rupees else just show blank close the bracket hit the enter now we can see here it is showing dollar let me put here a simple number let's say 100 only so it is showing dollar now we will put another substitute put here another substitute and this time we will use old text as this one s a t a n g let's remove it with blank for now and just hit the enter so you can see it is working but again we will use the if condition in place of this blank that will be if this cell b3 press f f4 to freeze this equal to dollar then it will take cents put another condition if this cell which is b3 equal to rupees then it will take paise else it will take blank close the bracket hit the enter so this is working if i selected here dollar it is taking dollar and cents if i take here let's say rupees then it is taking rupees and paise if i select here none then it is taking none but in case of none so it is directly taking that 13 but if you see we have a double space there and here it is taking 94 but before 94 we have double space okay so in place of that double space we can take point so let's use another substitute here and then use here as double space old text comma the new text we will take space point space and just close the bracket hit the enter you can see it is taking like 8634.13 okay so this is working now if i change then you can see it is working like this so this was the static method that means if you change the number here you have to translate this again now let me do it quickly once again so what i'm going to do i'm just putting here rand between let's say 200 a simple number between 500 just hit the enter and now i'm going to select this range then i'm going to review and translate and then i will copy these all numbers copy and just paste them here on f1 paste 
automatically we are getting here you can see so it is just select translate copy and paste on this cell and automatically you will get whole numbers into words now i will show you method 2 so let me make this duplicate create a copy and this will be method 2 in the method 2 we will not use this trick and even we don't need the support column let's delete this formula also and let's make this fix and then here what i'm going to do i will first use this function this just hit the enter so we are getting this in words and then we will use the same formula which we have used here this one but before that i will use here the translate function so let's use here translate this one the text will be this one comma the source language just type here th as for the thai language comma convert this into the english language so type en okay now just hit the enter so we are getting this in english again we are getting in this format and let me make some decimal numbers also so what i am going to do here take 20000 to 40000 divide by 100 just fill this down okay so you can see it is giving like this now let's copy this formula so we will not spend much time so we can copy this whole formula and just paste this whole formula here and in place of this text split we have used here this text split and this thing we will use translate and inside the translate let's use this function select this close comma th with en en and just close and hit the enter so we are getting this automatically and let's fill this down okay so this is working if i select here this one then you can see automatically it is converting now if you want to change the case then what you can do you can just insert you can go to the developer tab and insert the option button let's take the form control option button and just click here so let's say here i want to put upper and make two more copy let's take this as proper one more copy take this as lower here we can put heading at word case and we can select this range press control bun go to the border and take some dark outer border okay now we can right click here go to the format control and we can connect this with some cell let's say i'm selecting f1 if i select here upper then one is there then two is there then three is there okay we can remove the formula from here control c and shift control p so we have pasted as value now we will connect with this formula so this formula is quite long so what we can do we can just copy this whole formula and before copying we will make sure that we are selecting here we are freezing this press f4 and this one also press f4 and here you can freeze the column just copy the whole formula go to the formula bar and name manager new and this formula is number two words paste that formula here click on ok close just remove this if i type here 
formula as number two words and hit the enter i will automatically get in words okay so now i can put a if condition if this value equal to just press f4 to freeze this equal to one then i will use here upper function with number two words comma if this value use another if this value press f4 to freeze this is equal to two then i will use proper number two words just close the bracket in the else case we will use lower number two words close the bracket hit the enter okay so we are getting this in lower case you can see just fill this down till the end now you select upper or proper or upper whatever accordingly it will be changed and if you change the number automatically it will be changed okay you can take some bigger numbers also then it will give you the bigger result all right friends that is how you can convert the numbers into words using the formula and some translate feature of the microsoft excel friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching